In today's two minute tech tip video, I'm going to show you a super cool command line utility for Kubernetes called K9S. K9S is a Kubernetes CLI used to manage your clusters in style. It has a bunch of customizations such as look and feel, aliases, hotkeys, and plugins, and it looks very cool. It's also super easy to install for Mac, Linux, and Windows. You can also go ahead and check it out on GitHub, and you can download it directly from the release page over here. It's very easy to install. I'm just going to download it from the releases page using curl, untar it, and I move it to user local bin. And I simply run it by saying k9s and it'll fire up in the command line. And it gives you all the commands and hotkeys that you can use at the top here. You can press the exclamation for help and it'll show you how to get resources, how to navigate and how to use a lot of the important hotkeys. I can press the colon character and now I can just start typing if I want to view pods. I just say pods and enter. I can see all the pods. I can hit colon. I can type deployments. You can see it as autocomplete. It'll show me all the deployments. I can do the same thing for config map. I can do the same thing for secrets. Now, this is a live view. So as resources are deployed to my cluster, we can see the terminal will automatically update. You can see new containers are creating and it also color codes the different statuses. And when a container crashes or goes into a bad state, it becomes red. I can use the arrow keys to navigate to the troublesome pod we can press d to describe it and have a look and see what the problem is there's a config map that is missing. I can select one of the other pods, hit L, and we can see the logs. I can toggle full screen mode with F and have a look at the logs in that way as well. I can even get a shell to the pod by pressing S. Now I'm inside the pod. We can see the files inside and run commands. I can even set up a port forward to this if I want to look at it in the UI by pressing Shift F and I can select the ports I want and say OK. Now you can see there's an F icon because it has a port forward running. I can also look at nodes by typing colon and nodes. Have a look, here's my node. I can select that node, I can describe it, drain it, and cordon and uncordon this node. And if I want to edit a deployment, I can view the deployment and on the deployment I can type E to edit and I can even go ahead and directly edit the YAML using my favorite text editor. There is also another view called the X-ray view. If I press the colon button and I type X-ray and then the resource like deployments, I can enter a whole other view. And here I can navigate deployments, I can navigate my containers, I can see this is a service account, we can go into the container, we can show logs, we can connect directly from here to a shell. So the x-ray view just gives me another view of the CLI. K9S also supports a configuration file, so you can write a custom configuration, so every time you run the K9S CLI it would be perfectly set up for your machine. Now that's it for this two minute tech tip video. Let me know down in the comments below what sort of other tips you have. And if you'd like to support the channel, please be sure to check the Patreon link down below or click the join button to become a YouTube member. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time, peace.